Different types of breads for diabetics. Can eat without high blood sugar while they are trying to manage their diabetes type 2 or type 1. If you're living with diabetes, whether type 1 or type 2, the food you eat plays a pivotal role in managing your condition. Breads, often seen as off limits, can indeed be part of your diet. But which types? Let's explore. Whole grain bread should be your go to option. It is rich in fiber, slowing the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream and preventing spikes in blood glucose. Opt for breads labeled 100% whole grain. Rye bread is another great choice. It has a lower glycemic index than wheat bread, meaning it will not cause a rapid rise in blood sugar. Plus, it's a tasty way to add variety to your meals. Next up is pumpernickel bread. Made from whole grain rye, it has a low glycemic index. With its distinctive flavor, it's a delicious addition to your diabetic-friendly menu. Don't underestimate the power of sourdough. This bread's fermentation process can help decrease its glycemic index, making it a better choice for diabetics. However, choose whole grain sourdough for maximum benefits. Flaxseed bread, loaded with omega-3 fatty acids and fiber, is also an excellent choice. Its high fiber content can help slow down the rate at which sugar is absorbed into the bloodstream. Oat bread is another bread that's good for diabetics. It's high in fiber, especially beta-glucan, a type of soluble fiber that can help control blood sugar levels. Sprouted grain bread, made from whole grains that have begun to sprout, has a lower glycemic index than many other types of bread. It's high fiber and protein content can help control blood sugar. Ezekiel bread, a type of sprouted grain bread, is an excellent choice. It is made from a variety of whole grains and legumes. Both protein and fiber rich, it's an ideal bread for diabetics. Now, let's talk about gluten-free bread. If you're diabetic and have a gluten intolerance, opt for gluten-free breads made from whole grains, like brown rice or quinoa. Lastly, look for breads fortified with nutrients like protein, fiber, and healthy fats. These can help slow down the absorption of glucose into the bloodstream and prevent blood sugar spikes. Remember, bread can be part of a balanced diabetic diet. The key is to choose wisely and monitor your portion sizes. Always opt for whole grain, nutrient-rich varieties, and avoid white, refined breads. In conclusion, managing diabetes doesn't mean you have to give up bread entirely. With careful selection, bread can be enjoyed as part of a healthy, balanced diet for people with diabetes. Consult your dietitian or healthcare provider to plan a diet that fits your personal health goals and food preferences.